Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Genki, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about classic World of Warcraft, and whether or not I think you should play it or not. This video is going to be broken up into parts. The first part is going to cover the pregame, or as I like to call it, the tailgate. You know, it's rather interesting. I've always heard this concept of tailgating a football game, but I don't go to many football games and I still want to tailgate life. I'm going to talk to you about what it was like to kill my first mob, complete my first quest, and get in my first group. And after we get past the initial experience, I'm going to dive into what the main differences between Classic and Retail WoW are through the eyes of a casual gamer. After I explain some of those differences, I'm going to move on to what Classic WoW did for me as a casual gamer, and it's pretty cool. And my third point is going to be talking about what it was like the day after launch. What was the feeling I had when I woke up the next morning? Because YouTube, as long as you see your life as just a game, you're probably not going to be a winner. And I really do think that Classic WoW did a great job at capturing that experience. So with that being said, let's jump into the video! Part 1. The Pre-Game, or as I like to call it, The Tailgate. Classic WoW launched on August 26, 2019. And I knew that it was launching on that date about two weeks prior. So for those two weeks, I was subtly watching videos preparing myself for launch. So that on the 26th, I didn't just get home and jump into queue. I got home four hours early because one of the videos said you had to be in queue at least two hours early if you even hope to play during launch. Ain't nobody want to wait in a 10 hour queue time. But while I was waiting, I didn't just wait passively. I started learning more about the game. I knew from experience of retail World of Warcraft that I wanted to be a healer. So I started watching YouTube videos on what kind of healing classes there were and what kind of races went best with what kind of healers and decided that I wanted to be an undead priest. After I finished learning how to play the game a little better, I started watching videos about the history of Classic WoW. And I found this really great video called History of Classic WoW by Punk Rat. Not for nothing, but I've seen that video about 10 times, and I watch it whenever I'm gonna play Classic WoW because it really ramps up the experience. Link in the description if you're interested, YouTube. After I watched that video, I found the South Park episode of World of Warcraft. Now, I don't know how you feel about South Park, but that episode is hilarious. And I highly recommend watching it if you're interested in playing the World of Warcraft. It's still extraordinarily relevant to current gameplay. And finally, about 10 minutes before launch, I jumped into Asmongold's stream on Twitch. Asmongold is one of the biggest streamers, if not the biggest streamer in the world of World of Warcraft. And there was 213,000 people watching his stream. I thought that was pretty cool. And I even heard that the stream got to 283,000 people later on in the night. I just wasn't watching because I was focusing on playing the game. But YouTube, why am I going to such lengths to explain to you the pregame? Well, it's because I wanted to have a successful experience. And the only way to ensure success in the experience that you're trying to have is by preparing adequately for that ex experience. Not just showing up to play, but learning how to play and learning how to appreciate what you're doing. It also comes from understanding what kind of gamer you are. What are your expectations for the video game you're playing? What kind of experience do you want out of that video game? Which segues me into the next part of this video, my ex experience as a casual player. I stream Classic WoW literally six hours from launch, and there's a link in the description to that video on my streaming channel. For the first 30 minutes of that video, I was literally screaming at my computer, but luckily the mic was turned off on my OBS. 
It was a little bit of a happy accident because if you were watching the stream, you'd probably be like, Who's that guy screaming at his computer? I don't want to watch this anymore. But that's just what it felt like to be in this game with thousands of other people. Completing my first quest was actually really fun. And killing my first mob was absolutely phenomenal because there were hundreds of monsters and thousands of players. We were competing for scarce resources. In fact, it was so challenging that it was almost impossible to do it by yourself. As you see in the video right now, I actually had to group up with people to accomplish this quest. There were five of us, and it literally took us 15 minutes to accomplish a quest that would have taken us two minutes to accomplish in retail well. What this started to do for me as a casual gamer was shift my mindset into classic. And when my mindset started to shift, I started to realize the biggest differences between classic and retail. Now it didn't happen in the first 20 minutes because I was still just so excited about the game, emotion was still in full control. It took around an hour and 50 minutes for me to start to realize why classic was in such high demand. Because the group that I made in the first 15 minutes, and I think we grouped up literally like six minutes into the game, ended up being my leveling group all the way into an hour and 50 minutes in the game. And I've tried, I've tried to form leveling groups in the beginning of the game before. But in retail WoW, at least in my experience, people don't want to talk to other people. Except this one time where I found this guy, he was like, oh yeah, I'm a new player, man. How do I do this quest? And I was like, slide, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And I know if you're a veteran gamer, it could be a little annoying for a newbie to come up and ask you questions. But let me point this out. We were all there at one time. So you should want to help people out when they ask for it. And that's what brought me to this moment. These five minutes of gameplay that really started to make me realize why Classic was so great. It was about an hour and 50 minutes into the stream. I was questing with the two people that I had met back in the starting area of the undead. Now, if this was retail World of Warcraft, I would have been like, okay, see you later. But no, this isn't retail, this is classic. And I had put an hour and 50 minutes of my life into this group with these two people, playing this game together with them. And I didn't want it to end because it created this sense of meaning within me. So I started talking to this person after they left, which is something I would not have done in retail World of Warcraft because Retail World of Warcraft is designed to be a solo play game with an option of playing with other people. That is how they target the casual audience. But in Classic WoW, because the game is so challenging, if you want to get anything done, you have to talk to other people. You have to team up with other people. You have to form relationships and you have to step outside of your comfort zone. It's that sense of community that created this foundation of meaningfulness in me as a gamer. And I'm not saying that the meaningfulness wasn't present in retail World of Warcraft, it was just very different. I didn't want this person to leave, I didn't give up, I kept talking to them until eventually they joined the group again after around 5 minutes. Coming at it from a sense of community, what I'm understanding is that Classic WoW is an adventure meant to be had with other people. Where Retail WoW is an adventure that can be shared with other people, but can also be done solo.
But again, YouTube, it all matters to what kind of gamer you are. One is not better than the other. I think it's actually really great that we have the opportunity to experience both games because it caters to different audiences and you can be a part of either audience at any time. This new sense of community and meaningfulness created something that I didn't expect to get from this game. Because I had played World of Warcraft back in Wrath of the Lich King for about two years. And I had done all these beginner quests before. And I had been in these starter zones hundreds of times. I had seen what I was doing. I already played these elements of the game, but because it was the original state, because it was classic, it was almost as if I was seeing what I already had done in a completely new light. And it brought me back to like the first day where I was like 13 years old, and it was the first day I ever played World of Warcraft. I was like a dwarf and I had like two gold and I was like, wow, I have two gold. That's so much money. Oh my wow. And it was just, there was a smile on my face back then. And I can tell you this, being in classic on a real adventure with real people, all headed in a singular direction was absolutely phenomenal. Because it built a foundation of meaningfulness around a community of people headed in a singular direction which created this framework of an adventure. A little disclaimer though, Classic WoW is really, really, really time consuming, energy consuming, effort consuming, and commitment consuming. I'm gonna keep hammering on this point. You have to understand what kind of gamer you are. And regardless of what kind of gamer you are, I still think you should give it a shot. But Retail World of Warcraft is a lot easier to progress through. Classic WoW is actually really hard to progress through. It took me and my party about 5 hours to get to Undercity. You can do that in literally less than an hour in Retail World of Warcraft. Which brings me to the final part of this video. The day after launch. How did I feel waking up the next morning? This is probably one of the coolest experiences playing a video game I've ever had in my life. I went to sleep at 2 a.m. in the morning. After playing WoW for 6 hours, I woke up at 8 a.m. in the morning. Went back to my computer and logged on again. I played by myself for two hours, and then the two people I was playing with the night beforehand logged on. We met together at Undercity, and then formed a pact to go do Ragefire Chasm together. But the quest for Ragefire Chasm is in Thunder. So we had to take the Zeppelin all the way to Orgmir, and then walk to Ratchet to get the flight path at Crossroads. This may sound like gibberish, but it was really, really, really cool because I had seen the game in a completely different light and I still was riding off that euphoria the next day. There was one point along the journey that really captured my experience really well. And I'm going to show you that point in the journey in the next, I think, 20 seconds. And in that time, I'm not going to talk. I'm just gonna have the music playing in the background because I really want you to see what it was like to be in the video game and to feel that, I don't know how to put it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but euphoria. So I hope you enjoy.
YouTube, before I end the video today, I would just like to say thanks. Thanks to Mr. Josh Alianak Brakos, one of the lead developers of Retail World of Warcraft. Without you, Classic WoW wouldn't have been launched August 26th, so thank you very much. A second thanks to Mr. Mark Hearn and the Nostalrius Progressive Realms team for developing and bringing Classic WoW to Blizzard's attention. You guys did a phenomenal job and you will forever be remembered in history as the people that brought Classic WoW back to Azeroth. And a final thank you to all you hardcore classic gamers out there. You turned the memes into dreams by creating the demand that allowed this game to flourish. Which allowed casual gamers like me to understand why Classic was so great. Anyway YouTube, that's the video for today. If this video helped you out or made you want to play some Classic WoW, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm really trying to get to 100,000 before I'm 25. I'm 24 right now. Oh my wow, my birthday was three days ago. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. Also, the good word of Classic WoW. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!